Painting a super yacht is arguably the most challenging task in the coatings industry. This is mainly due to the vast areas of mirror flat surfaces that have to be sprayed to absolute perfection and entirely by hand. A successful job not only requires highly skilled professionals and painstaking preparation, but also the right fillers and undercoats applied in exactly the right conditions. To learn some of the trade secrets, we were invited to a special course run by Marineware, the UK distributors of All Grip. The venue was the Dorset-based premises of Finishing Brands, the manufacturers of a wide range of professional spray guns. With such expertise on tap, and as much paint and filler as we could handle, we were able to build up our knowledge of the art of spray painting, and to identify some of the less obvious mistakes. 2.1 bar, 4 bar, hang on, I've just lost 50% of what I think I've got. In charge of the course is Marine Wear's Simon Crawford and we started by asking him if the course is tailored to the particular needs of the delegates. Yeah, on the outset we tend to ask people what sort of work they're doing, whether they paint steel boats or aluminium boats or they build composite boats, and we ask people what their issues are, um, because it's such a wide subject to get through. We try and tailor the, the course to suit the majority of the needs of the people in the room. We start off in the morning going through um, the specifications. I mean, we're here not to teach people how to paint, we're te here to teach people more about what the product does and how it's been designed to use. So we go through the specifications and, and how the paints are designed to work together and what the limitations are of those and how to get the best out of them. Later this, the, the, the same day we start off with all of our primers, um, all of the adhesion primers, all of the bits that are, are the mainstay. They might not be pretty but they're the ones that anchor the paint to, to, to whatever we're painting so they're very very important. So we go and spray all of our different primers and, and, and onto different substrates like steel, aluminium, wood, things like that. The decision to team up with finishing brands and use their facilities has proved beneficial for both companies, allowing customers to get hands-on with the most advanced products. Yeah, well finishing brands are a very important part of um, the course. Um, the guys there are extremely experienced and they are the ones that can help you with spray gun setup and, um, and what, what, what equipment you should be using, what are the right bits and pieces to go with that equipment and, uh, and having the right knowledge to pick up the right bit of equipment. Um, helps consistency, it helps people get better finishes, um, but get the same finish each time. So um, it's a very important part to understand your equipment. You know, it can help you a lot, but it can hinder you a lot if you get it wrong. And they're, they're experts at it and uh, are very helpful. Whilst the course focuses on existing products, there was the unashamed demonstration of some new products recently released into a very conservative market. Well yeah, of course we are all salesmen and we do exist from selling paint so it's a good opportunity to showcase new products like the Allwood MA um, which is pretty revolutionary in the varnish world. Uh, it's for professional use but the longevity and things like that and the ease of application are uh, pretty impressive so it's a good time to showcase those so a little bit of sales involved as well. A key part of the course was explaining the importance of keeping written records and ideally a test panel for each layer of primer, filler and paint. You can get issues in, in the manufacturer but most issues are down to application unfortunately. It can be very difficult to find out what they are so we have a, uh, a large amount of test equipment which we showed everyone how it works, how we can test the relative film thicknesses and what's been done. We also ask, ask and train guys to write down a, a, a select an essential bit of knowledge, temperature, paint, batch numbers. Yeah, yeah. We need this information to help us find out what's been done, um, what could have possibly gone wrong if there is an issue. Uh, and it's, it's good working practice in this day and age. What's your worst nightmare when you come to rub down a paint job like that, like Paul? <laughs> there's so many products these days, there's so many, everyone has different things and, and you can't go into complete detail on everything, it's a, it's a good bit of base knowledge and yeah we do have to go out in the field with our customers, work with them, put a set of overalls on and um, make sure they're getting the best out of the products that they're buying and they're, they're also making sure that they're getting the finishes that they want and, um, and, and we do a lot of work and work very closely with the customers to do that. But with such a mix of abilities on each course, do the delegates get to practice with the special formulas, such as metallic finishes, for advanced composites? 
Exactly. Yeah, it's difficult because obviously some of the, the, the special effects or the, 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 the pearls and the metallics, they require some specific training and in two days there's not enough time to do it. So we use it as an opportunity to introduce those products. Um, some of the senior sprayers on the course, because there's enough of us we can separate off and, and, and because where we do the courses there are two spray boots. So we can separate off um, and we often do with the more junior sprayers or people that have never sprayed before doing spray gun setups. With the more advanced sprayers, playing with the pearls and the metallics and the special effects and having a lovely time seeing what they can achieve. And, and finally, the, the product itself, now 41 years in existence. Yeah, <laughs> it's very <laughs> proven. Pretty proven, yeah, we're, we're lucky to have the Augrip brand it's, um, uh, and, the, and the international brand all under Axe Nobel and they've, the Augrip's brand's been painting super yachts and large yachts for 41 years. Uh, some of their systems haven't changed, some of their systems are still the same ones that have been using for 41 years because uh, they're not broken so uh, let's not fix it.